Shivam, Shivam, your honor, your honor, Soumya, Soumya, one who is pure and simple, one who is pure and simple, that. And because you are submissive, your spiritual masters have endowed you with all the favors bestowed upon a gentle disciple. Therefore, you can tell us all that you have scientifically learned, learned from them. Purport. The secret of success in spiritual life is in satisfying the spiritual master and thereby getting his sincere blessings. Srila Vishnu Chakrachakur has sung in his famous eight stanzas on the spiritual master as follows. I offer my respectful obeisances under the lotus feet of my spiritual master. Only by his satisfaction can one please the personality of Godhead and when he is dissatisfied, there is only havoc on the path of spiritual realization. It is essential, therefore, that a disciple be very much obedient and submissive to the bonafide spiritual master. Srila Sutta Goswami fulfilled all these qualifications as a disciple and therefore he was endowed with all the favors by his learned and self realized spiritual masters, such as Srila Vyasadeva and others. The sages of Naimi Sharanya were confident that Srila Sutta Goswami was bona fide. Therefore, they were anxious to hear from him. Om Ajnan Timirudasya Jnana Anjana Salakaya Chakshur Kinnala Omnaya Tasmai Shri Gurve Namaha Shri Chaitanya Vishnam Sapitam Yeh Nukhade Swayam Rupa Kadamayam Tadanati Svatanamitam Vandeham Shri Guru Shri Uta Bhatamalam Shri Guru Vaishnavashtra Shri Rupam Sagrajatam
सो लाभ क्या है लाभ क्या है वॉट इज फॉर डिफरेंट डिफरेंट पीपल वॉट इज द बेनिफिट फॉर ए चाइल्ड इफ यू कैन गेट सम टॉयस इज वेरी हैप्पी फॉर ए स्टूडेंट इफ द एग्जाम्स आर फिनिश्ड डजेंट हैव टू गो टू स्कूल दैट इज इज बेनिफिट राइट फॉर ए यूथ इफ यू गेट्स ए जॉब we can get married or something like that is for a businessman you know good profits you know for elderly man if the daughter is getting married you know that. so like that for different different people different different uh, you know lab hai you know they they expects you know profit in different different ways so ultimate what is the ultimate lab what is the ultimate benefit right so it is said that if you want to be happy for one day right go for a picnic <laughs> right so if you want to be happy for one hour get a good sleep huh right if you want to be happy for one one hour you go go to get a very nice sleep <laughs> that to afternoon <laughs> or during japa <laughs> right so then for one uh, if you want to be happy for one month Uh, get married ha ha ungar ha ha only one month happiness ha huh? if you want to be happy for uh, one year right subhashi ha uh. sushi bahut sara paisa kama le what is what is what make good profits ha huh? huh? <laughs> if you want to be happy uh, throughout your life right mast rehne ka sikhne ka mast rehne ka right asta vyast nahi hone ka right mast rehne ka so you have mast kaise rehne ka by studying bhagavad gita <laughs> right no chinta right mast rehna matlab bindas rehne ka bindas kaun rehta hai krishna ke das bindas maya ke das sada udas right so if you want to be um, happy throughout your life what you should do read shrimad bhagavatam read shrimad you should study bhagavatam right so that's what uh, we are actually uh, introducing today starting uh, studying how to study systematically shrimad bhagavatam right nityam bhagavat sevaya like that so what is the difference between sukha and ananda sukha and ananda sukha is temporary and ananda is nitya increase yeah good good right so what we get uh, is what you call you know sukha you know, happiness what you call so what is the definition of sukha temporary yeah. what is what, what is the exact definition of sukha Huh? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Hey? Little relief, relief in between the misery. two misery. Yeah. Color funny. Yeah. Uh, right? That's it. What we call another aspect of sukhi. You know what? Another aspect of sukhi. 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 that right? your happiness depends on behavior of your spouse and relatives suppose you get a you got a job your happiness depends on behavior of your spouse right so independently you cannot get sukh that your, your sukh depends on someone else behavior is someone else behavior is in, is under your control Huh? Never. 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 So your so your sukh is not in your hands, right? Your sukh is not in your yeah. hands. So ananda, ananda means happiness that you get by not depending on others, but by depending on. 
Krishna. Because Krishna is the known as Anandamai Bhana, means he is personified bliss. Suppose Lakshmi Devi wants to know what is poverty, she cannot know. If Surya Chandra, Surya Bhagavan wants to know what is darkness, he cannot know. Right? If Krishna wants to know what is distress, he cannot know. Uh, because he is Anandamaya Bhana. He is personified bliss. That's why Prabhupada always used to say, you never see Krishna crying. No, lamenting, my wife has left me and all right? So, uh, so that is the uh, uh, Ananda. So, who can be happy, Bhagavatam says, who can be happy in this world? You know, the, the person whom Krishna gives happiness. To the person whom Krishna gives happiness, that person only can be Happy. So happiness is not in our hands, but we think like that. You know, I can, uh, I can work hard and then get happiness. But actually, happiness is not in our hands, right? So, Ananda, Ananda comes from Krishna, right? So, what is the difference between Bhagavad Gita and Shrimad Bhagavatam? Krishna's Vani. Bhagavad Gita is Krishna's Vani. Bhagavatam is Krishna himself. What? Bhagavatam is Krishna himself. Krishna himself. So who is Krishna? Anandamaya? Gana. So how to get Ananda? By studying so make it as a uh, habit. Uh, you know, that a, a single day should not go without reading Bhagavatam, right? Nitya Bhagavat Every day, you know, even even if it is one verse also, you must read Bhagavatam. Without you know, without reading Bhagavatam, don't go to sleep, right? Uh, <coughs> So that is why uh, during Janmashtami they sing, no? Nandke Bayo Jai Kanai Laliki. So Jai Kanai Laliki. So Nandke Garmi Kona Ananda Ayata. Right? Ananda Ayata. That is why they are dancing. No, once Prabhupada uh, he said, you know, Prabhupada was dancing, you know, uh, singing this, you know, Nandke Bayo Ananda Bayo. Uh, Jai Kanai Lalki in front of Radha Damada uh, you know, during the university time, like that. So, and one day uh, in Jasi, the devotee uh, Prag Dr. Prabhakar Mishra, first disciple of Prabhupada, he was reporting that uh, in Jasi, on Janmashtami day, Prabhupada was dancing. You know? He was ja jumping up and down, going from one you know, side, one corner to another corner in the temple hall, you know, in Jasi. So, he was wearing uh, a uh, Kadamba flowers that too huge, such a huge, you know, yes. huge flowers, Kadamba flowers. Then its fragrance was spread all over the room, and then Prabhupada was dancing in ecstasy. Then uh, Prabhupada, <coughs> so uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Prabhakar Mishra, he asked uh, Shiva Prabhupada, uh, Why are you so happy you now today? So, if you are young, you will be able to get a little bit
आगे आगे आ जाओ आप लोग आप so this uh, uh, we want to be happy all the time come here come here please ab aaja okay you want to be happy all the time what you should do ha study bhagavad gita bhagavad gita really good. so in this world everything is easily available except one thing you know what it is satsang ha huh? satsange ha huh? satsange dullava samsara so very very difficult to get satsang there are so many so called uh, sadhus are there but actually they are cheating right they are cheating like many times i told this um, So once Sachidan the Prabhu, first time when he went to, he was actually dabbling with the Eastern philosophy and all. So somebody said he was going, you know, he was through uh, Buddhism, meditation, uh, Christianity, Islam, everything tapping at the door, everybody's door. So he had a question which cannot be, well, who is God and all that. So which you know nobody could answer his questions. Then finally one one of his friends suggested a yes, Swami ji from uh, India came. He, he will, uh, you know, he is conducting Gita classes. So, uh, would you like to uh, attend? So he went 26th second Avenue. Then uh, Prabhu Pad, uh, yeah, that time he entered. So when, when he was seeing, you know, matches, gifts, you know, shop, uh, like that. And then uh, he asked uh, somebody came uh, came from outside. He asked, uh, uh, is this the place where Swami Ji is giving classes? Then he replied, "Oh, Mr. Oh, 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 pilgrim, your journey has ended here." Right? So what did he say? "Oh, Mr. Pilgrim, your safar is over." Then, uh, uh, then he attended the class and everything. Uh, and uh, uh, then he asked, uh, "Is Swami Ji going to teach uh, meditation?" Because Prabhu was finished. Prabhu was very really expert, you know. He, that time he had so much money and all he cut one apple and so so many that many people are there that many pieces proper cut <laughs> then he gave the, and then proper so he was expecting uh, is swami ji going to teach uh, meditation then high guru prabhu he asked high guru prabhu said never trust a sadhu who is not dancing what is that never trust, never trust a sadhu who is not dancing So, what is the meaning of this behind this statement? So, Kaliyuga Dharma is Hari Nam. So, if somebody is teaching anything else other than Hari Nam, that means uh, you should not <laughs> trust such a person. <laughs> so, never trust a sadhu who is not. So, these sadhus who are teaching Hari Nam Sankirtan are very very rare in this world. and those sadhus who are teaching based on the scriptures like bhagavatam and bhagavad gita quoting you know uh, very well so they are very rare in this world right they are very rare in this world so we should be uh, very thankful that uh, shri prabhupada has established this con then uh, somehow or other by good fortune uh, like that is why it is said when krishna becomes very very merciful जगह है इफ कृष्णा बिकम्स 
uh, very very merciful uh, on someone when uh, his uh, uh, ashirvad becomes pretty fructified right our uh, pious activities reach the peak right on whom krishna shows anugraha such a person will get to study bhagavad right so this is not a uh, we are sitting here that means this is not an ordinary thing you know that we are sitting here and uh, discussing shrimad bhagavatam so uh, it is said that uh, especially uh, many people uh, they uh, you know uh, they uh, on sundays you know they go for uh, uh, enjoyment and all that so uh, there is a no court uh, i have read uh, that amisham madupanam cha yah karoti raver dine satta janma bhavet rogi janma janma daridrata स्त्री तैल मधुमांसा ये त्यजती रविदेने ना व्याधि शोक दारिद्र्यम सूर्यलोक स गति सो वन शुड नॉट ईट मीट ऑन संडे संडे बिलोंग्स टू सन गॉड राइट सो ऑन संडे पीपल यू नो गो डू ऑल दस नॉनसेंस यू नो गो फॉर हॉलिडे लोनावाला हियर एंड देयर बट एक्चुअली इन द स्क्रिप्चर्स इट इज सेड दैट वन शुड नॉट ईट मीट one should not drink alcohol one should not associate with a woman one should not apply oil one should not get massage all these things on uh, this are all nishita karma on sunday so if somebody does any of these activities satta janma daridra so for seven lifetimes one has to suffer from uh, poverty and has to suffer from poverty so uh, then here poverty not only poverty means uh, lakshmi uh, means no money but uh, also uh, diseases you know uh, the meaning of poverty is also uh, people suffer from uh, diseases also like that so in a, in garud purana uh, it is mentioned uh, that uh, for a, if you do any of these activities for uh, for a long time then uh, one 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 will become blind in the next life Uh, because uh, sun is related to the eyes right so um, yeah, it is a very good opportunity for all of us come every sunday and hear the <coughs> shrimad bhagavatam don't make a plan to go to uh, you know eat uh, lona wala and you know other chutti manane <laughs> right <laughs> so uh, one should be very careful people don't believe in all these things but actually uh, these things uh, when somebody becomes sick you know somebody becomes poverty stricken uh, they can't do anything right they can't do anything about it once you do all once somebody does all these things then uh, one has to uh, suffer uh, so we should uh, utilize our time uh, in uh, reading bhagavatam so that is why uh, it is said that uh, vaishnavam ka param dhanam yeah? the the real wealth of vaishnavas is shrimad bhagavatam right sat sant ka chintan you know means uh, all the sadhus and all they do chintan of shrimad bhagavatam right then vidwanon ka manan means vidwan you know they do you know all this uh, you know, they do manan research then bhaktom uh, ka uh, you know vandan means all the devotees they offer respect to obeisances and then bharat ka dadakan <coughs> shriman bhagavat right so uh, the bharat uh, for sanatan dharma is the aadhar uh, for uh, in india and then shrimad bhagavatam is the aadhar for sanatan dharma right so uh, like uh, uh, you know the shrimad bhagavatam right shrimad bhagavatam You know, this is called Shrimad Bhagavat, not simply Bhagavat. Shrimad Bhagavat, right? So, uh, Shri Ji ka Mad, right? This is Shri Ji ka Mad, Radha Rani ka Mad. Like you know, we have Kam ki Mad, Lok ki Mad, Krodh ki Mad, but Shrimad Radha Rani ka Mad kya hai? Shrimad Bhagavat. 
right? So, like uh, I was, uh, other day I was telling, uh, once I was giving Bhagavatam class, our uh, uh, Mahavishnu Maharaj, uh, Indian Mahavishnu Maharaj, he was sitting in the class. Then I told Maharaj, Maharaj, I am feeling very embarrassed in, to speak in front of you. He said, no, 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 you only speak. Uh, then he liked the class, then he told, he told me, Ramdu, uh, get married to Srimad Bhagavatam. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so uh, all of you also married. Second, you can do second marriage. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Right? Huh? 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 Yeah, you get, you know, you get. So marry uh, Shrimad Bhagavatam. Uh, develop the taste for uh, Shrimad Bhagavatam. Like, uh, um, like many times. Uh, have a, take a vow to read Bhagavatam, 10 pages, 15 pages, 20 pages, uh, 30 pages, 40. So if you take a vow of reading Bhagavatam 40 pages per day, you can finish entire Bhagavatam in two and a half years. I have done this recently, 2016 November, I have started uh, reading 40 pages Bhagavatam. So we, we, from uh, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudeva Janmadi Asiyataha up to 12th canto. Nama Sankirtanam Yasya. So it took me two and a half years. Right? So uh, make a project of uh, finishing Bhagavatam. Uh, otherwise, there are so many devotees, 20 years, 30 years already, I know. They have, they are, uh, they are not finished at reading Bhagavatam. Right? How many of you? Uh, Sanjay? Did you finish reading 12th candle? Rahul, I think you must have read. Right? You read once? Rajesh? I am in 10th candle. Good. Who else? Ekta? You finished once? Huh? No. Radha Shri Madhari? I finished once. Huh? Not starting but there is. Did you finish once? Shivani Madhari, I think, second time, third time. Huh? I finished once. So she studies, reads very carefully. Who else? Shirisha? 20 years, right? Already? No. <coughs> Huh? You finished? One side. One side. Very good. So, uh, make a vow of uh, finishing Bhagavatam. At least, just read. No, don't, you don't have to understand right now. First reading is just read. Just read. 32 pages. Even if you don't understand, if you, even if you cannot pronounce shlokas, just keep reading. Then, in the next reading, try to understand. First, first reading, you, you read, you become purified. Then you will get. So, what's your finish here? No, but I read every day, every night. So, uh, for uh, um, any scripture, for reading any scripture, you know, for every every scripture, there are four things to be considered. One is Shaya. What is the subject matter? Then, what is the uh, sambandha, you know, what is the relationship right, with that Vishaya? And then what is Adhikar? What, what is the qualification of a person who wants to study Srimad Bhagavatam? And then what is Prayojana? Means what is the Prayojana means? Huh? Prayojana means profit, right? benefit. So what is the benefit of reading Bhagavatam? Right? What is Vishaya? What is the subject matter of Srimad Bhagavatam? Tell me. Uh, 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 yeah. So Krishna is the so it, it started with the Bhag, you always remember uh, you know, Bhagavatam has to be understood from Bhagavatam. Right? Uh, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Uh, then it comes next week, maybe we will study you know, uh, this verse. Uh, you know, Janma Diyas Yata Hanvaya Tatra Tatra Swarte Shavijan Swar, Tene Brahma Prade Adi Kave Mugyan Then last you know, Satyam Param Dimani, you know, absolute truth. So in the first verse itself, he established the first verse uh, Satyam Param Dimani. Right? Then, uh, 
how to understand this verse 10th canto demigods prayers satyavratam satyaparam trisatyam satyasya yoni nihitam cha satye satyasya satyam ruta satya netram satyatmakam tvam sharanam prabhadi so this verse is explained in the 10th canto second chapter okay yeah Hare Krishna. So, absolute truth. Bhagavatam, what is the Vishaya? We are not speaking about God. We are speaking about absolute truth. Param Satyam. Right? That is Vishaya. And then, what is Sambandha? Our relationship. We are all eternal servants of Krishna. So, what is Adhikar? What is the qualification of a person? Who wants to study Bhagavatam? Right? One must be a submissive student. One must be a submissive student. Right? So, then what is Prayojana? What is the Prayojana of reading Bhagavatam? Krishna Prayam. Krishna Prayam. Right? which is not available in any other scripture. Right? So we are going to uh, you know, uh, speak a little bit uh, about uh, 18 Puranas. Right? So uh, how to uh, you know, understand? So you know, there are certain uh, ways to understand the uh, um, uh, experimentation. You know, like science is depending on experimentation. That is called Pratyaksha. So what is Pratyaksha? So Pratyaksha means when the senses, our senses come in contact with the objects, we will know some truth, reality of that. So that is known by, uh, you know, that is called Pratyaksha, Pratyaksha pram, prana, Praman. So this Pratyaksha Praman, uh, just like uh, not only eyes, sense, all our five senses are used for Pratyaksha Praman, right? Prabhupada said, uh, they wanted to know what is uh, the effect of uh, you know, cyanide. <laughs> One scientist said, okay, I will, I will taste the cyanide. Before I die, I will uh, you know, very loudly tell what it is and then die. So he did like that. <laughs> what is, uh, 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 Prabhupada, I don't know, Prabhupada only said this, that he wanted to know what is, uh, um, Diarrhea or something like that, right? Diarrhea. Uh, so he tasted that stool, it seems. Diarrhea stool. <laughs> so, they, uh, so that is how you know, they find out the, uh, that is called protection from man. Protection. They, they study about this reality by you know, uh, making the instruments. So, scientists, Bolo, what is the defe de defect in uh, protection from man? Okay, senses. <laughs> 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 Changes, uh, senses are limited. Huh? Senses are limited. Senses are limited. The instruments that we are going to make, uh, we are going to make, we are preparing, you know, with, with our senses. They are also imperfect. Uh, there is one, no? Prabhupada knows everything. No? Like, uh, amazing that. Uh, there is one verse I found, uh, I was reading. Namasta Ashisha Isha. Uh, Manave Karanatmane. Namo Dharmaya Prabhate. Krishnaya Akunta Medasa. You know, this verse you will find in 4th Canto 24th chapter. So Prabhupada wrote in the purport. Akunta Medasa means he has unlimited brain, unlimited intelligence. Mm -hmm. Prabhupada wrote, according to the scientists, the, their uh, limit of their investigation, research, finishes with the Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. Right? Heisenberg's uncertainty. Beyond that, their brains cannot work. I am amazed. Then there is one scientist comes, you know, Sham. Uh, I asked him, is it like that? He said, yeah. Beyond Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, you, they cannot know. That is that is their limit. Prabhupada knows, you know. <laughs> so, but Krishna's medas is unlimited. Krishna's madness is unlimited, like that. So, uh, their research and everything, 
uh, is uh, limited. Now limited to whatever. And then there is something called Anumana. Anumana means based on Prateksha Praman, you guess something else. Anumana is based on Prateksha Praman only. You know, based on your instruments and your knowledge, you, know, you go beyond and then uh, imagine something. You, know, you, you guess something. Right? Just like, uh, you know, suppose whenever you see there is a fire, you see the <coughs> smoke. So whenever you see uh, smoke, you may conclude that there is fire. But actually, Prabhupada says, sometimes, you know, on the long mountains, you see the smoke, clouds and all. But when you go there near, there is no fire. So this Anuman Pramana also can be wrong. So that is why Srila Prabhupada said, uh, even if all the books in all the libraries get burnt. Suppose there is a fire to all the libraries in the world, then all the books are burnt. Prabhupada said there is no loss if you have Bhagavatam. <laughs> right? If you have Bhagavatam, because all that knowledge is can be revived from All that knowledge is based on senses which are imperfect. Right? Vastu you know, scientific knowledge is Vastu Scriptural knowledge is knowledge about the truth. Right? Vastu you know, science, we are not condemning science, you know, we are, very science is very advanced. But that is only knowledge of? Vastu, Vastu means that is also real. It's not, it is not wrong. You know, that is why all these computers and everything are working, atom bombs are working. Right? Prabhupada said, greatest invention of scientists is airplane. Right? That is the greatest invention. So it's all there. But that is not the knowledge about the? Huh? Knowledge about the? Truth. That is not the truth. That is Vastavik knowledge. Vastavik jnana. Vastavik jnana means Vastu jnana. You, they study about something matter. Uh, next week we will discuss. Um, the science means study of uh, earth, water and fire. These three elements. Earth, water and fire. Like that is knowledge. But you cannot know what is Krishna, who is Krishna. Right? So what is a scripture? Veda, what is a Veda? Veda means knowledge. Right? So somebody asked, uh, what, is, uh, what is the date of Vedas? You know, these foolish scientists, they make some dates. Because what nonsense, no? so, how, can you give a date to the knowledge, <laughs> right? The knowledge is eternal, you know, like ever since there is the creation, that since then knowledge is there. That is why people, you know, unless you have knowledge, you cannot live in this world. So you have knowledge, how to conduct yourself, how to live in this world. So there is knowledge, so like that. So the, the knowledge that you cannot obtain from Prateksha, and Anuman Pramanas, you know, that which cannot be known from these two uh, things, you know, that knowledge is uh, obtained by studying scriptures. Is it clear? So, Vedic knowledge is meant for that purpose which cannot be known by uh, experimentation and uh, you know, speculation. Anuman and is it clear? So, the Vedic knowledge is meant for that. <coughs> so, uh, that is why Vedas are known as Anadi and Aparushe. Anadi? We don't know when this, we don't know the date of this creation. Right? We don't know the date of this creation. Like that, it is Anadi, we don't you know, ever, this creation, when it has taken place, since then, you know, uh, this knowledge is Vedas are there. And then Aparushe. Aparushe means that. This knowledge is given by a person who doesn't have four defects. Right? How many of you know what are the four defects of a human being? Do you know? Huh? What are the four defects of a human being? Huh? Imperfect senses. Huh? Cheating propensity. 
illusions the uh, illusions make mistakes and make mistakes right these are the four effects of a human being prabhu pa said you take knowledge from anybody by who is having this four defects you know why do we knowledge why do we want knowledge about the truth because we want ananda so you want if you want ananda you must get knowledge about the truth. truth but any knowledge given by person with four defects cannot give you ananda ananda because it is prabhupa said uh, the knowledge that is kept keeps on changing is no knowledge at all because truth doesn't change right that is why krishna did not say Oh, five thousand years back, I spoke to sun. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, millions of years back, I spoke to sun god. Recently, I got some new realization. I am giving you new knowledge. That is why I am speaking. To you. Did he say like that? No, he said same knowledge. That I spoke that time. That time I spoke. I am giving you why? Because because why did he speak the same knowledge again? Huh? Because the problems are same. <laughs> that time also problem is, huh? But there is no problem. This is now also. But there is that is the same knowledge I gave to Sun God to solve the problem of birth and death. This is same thing I am giving you because problems are same. The problem has not changed. Knowledge also has not changed. Once you know there is one uh, Nobel laureate. Uh, Dr. Benford, he was having conversation with Shri Prabhupada, and he said, uh, "We want to find out uh, all this uh, about this matter and all." Prabhupada said, "You can never have perfect knowledge of the matter because Adi Bhutam Sharu Bhava." He quoted, uh, you know, eight chapter four verse. He said, uh, yeah, "Because matter is changing all the time. That is why it's called Ashwatha." So because now you have seen certain. Thing now and then after some time again it is changed. So that is why their their formula also keep changing because matter is changing. Adi Bhutam Sharo Bhavaha Pushesha Adi Deva. So. <clears throat> So that is why Vedas are divided into Purva Bhaga and uh, Uttar Bhaga. Right? So Purva Bhaga means knowledge that is for karma kanda, for worshiping God and all. Right? And then uh, Uttar Bhaga, which gives you knowledge of uh, God, knowledge of the truth. Right? So this Uttar Bhaga is actually divided uh, into Upanishads, Vedanta, and all. That. So, in order to understand itiha, uh, you know, uh, Upanishads and Vedanta, these itihasas and Puranas are given, right? Uh, so, itihasa, um, you know, Upabrahmana, uh, you know, and so by Valmiki says, you know, that he after he after he compiled uh, Shrimad Ramayana, he wanted to uh, give it to somebody who can see this Ramayana and spread this knowledge. Then he saw. Uh, Love and Kush, who studied Vedas and all, then he said, then he said, okay, I will teach them. Then he did not say, I am going to teach you Ramayana. He said, Upa Brahmanam. Right? He said, uh, uh, in order to understand, you know, uh, uh, Ramayana, uh, so I will teach you Upa Brahmanam. So this is, uh, uh, in order to understand the in, uh, the intricacies of uh, uh, Vedanta and Upanishads, his Itihasas and Puranas are. Uh, given, so there are 18 Puranas, right? Uh, does anybody know names? Can you tell some names of 18 Puranas? Hmm? Raise your hand and tell. Okay. Don't tell. Ah, Garuda Purana. Garuda Purana. Vishnu Puran, Vishnu Puran, Shiv Puran, Skanda Puran, Padma Puran, Padma Puran, Varaha Puran, Varaha Puran, Shiv Puran, Shiv Puran, Vishnu Puran, Market Market Puran, Vishnu Puran, Matsya Puran, Vishnu Puran, okay, 
मत्स्य पुराण कुर्मा पुराण कुर्मा पुराण और बोलो पीछे बोलो बोलो Uh, I will. Uh, there is a poem. There is a Sanskrit verse given. You can note down if you want. Huh? Note down. Please bring a notebook and pen. Or you can write it in your notes and mobile. Madhvayam, Badhvayam, Shaiva, Bratrayam, Va Chatushtayam, Anapalinga, Kukshani, Purane. Right? Note down. Madhvayam. Madhvayam means starting with ma. Two. Two Puranas are there. One is Matsya Puran and Markandeya Puran. Right? Note it down. Madhvayam. Madhvayam means uh, starting with ma. Uh, Matsya Puran and Markandeya Puran. And then Bhadvayam. Uh, Bhagavad Puran and Bhavishya Puran. Four and then Bratrayam yes, means Brahma Puran, Brahmanda Puran, and then Brahma Vaivarta Puran. Three over here. Kitna over Seven. Then Va Chatushtayam. It's starting with Va. Vaman Puran, Vishnu Puran, Varaha Puran, and Vayu Puran. Right? Then Anapalinga, right? Uh, A means Agni Puran. Then Brahat Naradi Puran. Then Padma Puran. Right? And then Linga Puran. Skanda Puran. Right? Purma Puran. And then uh, like Garuda Puran. And then Purma Puran. And Skanda Puran. So they are 18. Right? Anapalinga Kukshani. Right? You can write it, right? Madhvayam, Bhadvayam, Bratrayam, Va Chatushtayam, Anapalinga Kukshani. Got it? You want to note it down? Everybody note it down? So, uh, if you um, 18 Puranas are there. So, if you study all the Puranas, your mind will be very disturbed. <laughs> right? Your mind will be uh, very disturbed. Because, um, you know, Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, uh, once uh, one person, uh, I was in BI, one person uh, you know, asked me, uh, uh, in BA library, uh, Vedas are there. <laughs> right? I gave him Bhagavatam. <laughs> like, you know, we, we used to distribute books. Uh, Mahabharata hai? Yeah, yeah, Mahabharata is there. <laughs> People don't know Polish. <laughs> Bhagavatam ka maskanda de 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 de. He is Mahabharata. Because maskanda hai hai na Mahabharata. <laughs> Stories hai Mahabharata. Mahabharata hai. <laughs> like, <laughs> So, somebody asked me, uh, do you have Vedanta Sutra? I said, yeah. <laughs> Bhagavatam. <laughs> because Bhagavatam is the commentary on you know, Vedanta Sutra. Right? So, uh, Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, the, uh, it is a uh, Grandi Shloka. It means the second chapter. Uh, it is a very important Shloka. That is Trigunya Vishaya Veda. Nistraigunya Bhavarjana. Nidvandho Hinitya Sattvastho Niriyoga Kshema Atmavan Right? So, uh, many people they quote from Vedas and all Okay, quoting a little bit from Vedas is okay But actually, we don't have to study Vedas because Krishna himself rejected studying of Vedas What did he say? Huh? 
त्रैगुण्य विषय आवेदा त्रैगुण्य भव अर्जुन अर्जुन वेदास आर डीलिंग ओनली विद थ्री मोड्स ऑफ नेचर राइट गो बियॉन्ड दैट इस त्रैगुण्य भव अर्जुन राइट सो दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वर्स सेकेंड चैप्टर सो इन वन वर्स कृष्णा रिजेक्टेड He did not reject Vedas. He said he did not recommend reading Vedas because Krishna Vedas also are the breathing of Lord Vishnu, right? But he said you don't waste time reading Vedas, right? Just simply study Bhagavad Gita or Bhagavatam, either. So uh, if you study Shiva Purana, you will see Lord Shiva is uh, you know glorified. If you some other Purana, Brahma Purana. Lord Brahma is glorified. Devi Bhagavatam, you know, they, you know, Ladya Devi is glorified. So, what is the why? You no, know, even the sages also are confused. Then what is this? You know, in one Purana you are glorifying somebody, in another Purana you are glorifying somebody. So, what is this Brahma Ji? Because Brahma, then all these Vedas are coming from Brahma Ji only, you know. Like you know, Brahma Ji, uh, you know, there is a very important verse in second canto, uh, second chapter, you know. Um, भगवान ब्रह्म का स्नेहनावीक्ष मनीषया One billion means. Huh? So how many of you studied seven hundred verses of Bhagavad Gita? Uh, how many times? How many times we have studied Bhagavad Gita? Hmm? How many times? Daily I study three chapters. How many times? Seven hundred, huh? I do three times. So far, Brahma Ji studied. 100 crore verses three times that is why he is known as manishaya manishaya means most intelligent person manishaya means most intelligent person so brahma ji being the most intelligent person after studying vedic vedas and all three times he concluded uh, serving the lotus feet of shri krishna is the the best he concluded right So this comes under Nisraya Gunya Bhava Jana. So all the sages they went to Brahma Ji and they prayed to the Lord Brahma Ji. Said Brahma Ji, you gave all these Vedas and Puranas and all that. So this is so confusing. Why did you do that? Right? Why did you do that? So this is given in Parma Purana. Then Brahma Ji replied, you know, I am also subject to modes of nature. When I am in the under the influence of mode of ignorance, I gave Puranas. Um, you know, connected to mode of ignorance, tamogini puranas. When I am in mode of passion, I gave puranas connect, you know, sub, you know, connected to mode of passion. Then when I am in mode of goodness, I gave puranas connected to mode of goodness. So then, what? How to recognize? What are the puranas in mode of goodness? What are the puranas uh, in mode of passion? And what are the puranas in Mode of ignorance. So, Sapi Purana is Vishnu Purana, Narada Purana. You can note down. You know, Srimad Bhagavatam, Garuda Purana, Padma Purana, Varaha Purana. You know, there are the six Puranas that are for people in mode of goodness. What are they? Vishnu Purana, Narada Purana, Srimad Bhagavatam. गरुड़ पुराना पद्म पुराना एंड बराह पुराना एंड श्रीमद पुराणास दैट आर इन मोड ऑफ पैशन ब्रह्म पुराणा ब्रह्म वैवर्त पुराणा एंड देन ब्रह्मांड पुराणा मार्कंडेय पुराणा भविष्य पुराणा वामन पुराणा दे आर इन मोड ऑफ पैशन एंड देन मत्स्य पुराण पूर्व पुराण शिव पुराण लिंग पुराण एंड स्कंद पुराण एंड अग्नि पुराण दे आर इन मोड ऑफ इग्नोरेंस सो ब्रह्मा जी इनसेल्फ से 
uh, that uh, in order to bewilder people in general, I have spoken all these Puranas in mode of fashion, in mode of ignorance Puranas. So he said, this is quoted by Ch uh, Shri Prabhupada in Chaitanya Chaitanya. Then, uh, so those uh, people who study Puranas in mode of fashion, they get Svarga Prapti. Those people who study Puranas in mode of ignorance, they go to hell. Niraya Prapti. And those people who study uh, this, uh, Puranas in Sattvic, they get Moksha. Right? So what is the speciality of uh, Srimad Bhagavatam? Right? Um, there is no, it is said that uh, there is no scripture like Srimad Mahabharat, Sri Mahabharat. Right? Mahabharat. So whatever is there in Mahabharat, uh, you know, it is nowhere else it is there. And whatever is there in other scriptures, it is there in Mahabharat. Right? So Mahabharat uh, is a very, uh, uh, because, um, uh, like Parashramani says, that because um, uh, Vyasadeva has written Mahabharat, he is incarnation of Vishnu. Because nobody can read otherwise write Mahabharat. Because every Kaliuga, you don't get Mahabharat. Because this time Vyasadeva, because he is incarnation of Vishnu, he wrote Mahabharat. You know? So Mahabharat is a great scripture. But after writing Mahabharat also, after writing all these 17 Puranas also, Vyasadeva was not happy. Right? Then uh, he meditated on, on his spiritual master, Nargamuni. We will study this in detail in the uh, fourth chapter, fifth chapter, and sixth chapter. How Nargamuni appeared in front of Vyasadeva. So, um, um, then uh, Vyasadeva expressed uh, disappointment that even after reading, uh, writing all these Vedanta Sutra, Mahabharata, all the Puranas, Upanishads, and all, my heart is not satisfied. So, Prabhupada, you know, uh, Prabhupada writes in the purport that the compiler of all these Vedic literatures is not happy. How can a person who is reading them can be happy? Right? Right? Then uh, he said, Bhavata Anudhita Prayam Yasho Bhagavato Amalam Yene Vasham Tusheta Manye Tad Darshanam Akilam He says, sir, because you have done a one mistake. You have not written, you know, exclusively about Krishna and his pastimes. That is why you are not happy. That's why you are not happy. So you you write a scripture which is uh, exclusively about only about Krishna, no one else. Go glorifying Krishna and his pastimes. Then you so ato mahabhaga bhavan amogadruk. Shuchishrava Satya Rato Dhrutav Brataha Urukramasya Akilavanda Muktaye Samadhi Nanusmara Tad Vicheshtitam This is a verse from Vainarakuni. He was instructing Ato Mahabhaga. You know, oh, most, most fortunate one, Mahabhaga. Bhavan Amogadruk. Amogadruk means you have, uh, uh, you, know, you know, you can see beyond this uh, present time, you can see the past, you can see the present, you can see the future also. Amogadruk. You know, we are not Amogadruk. Right? We forget what we have done the uh, one year back at the same time. And does anybody remember? <laughs> uh, August uh, 28, 2021. What have we done? You don't remember, right? What is going to what is the cause of our fear in this world? <coughs> Huh? What is the cause of fear in this world? Because Prabhupada says uh, ignorance about future. We don't know when we are going to die. We don't. We are afraid that we may lose our wealth. We we are afraid that somebody may die in our family. So like that, you know, uh, there is always fear. Uh, why Prabhupada said because of ignorance of future. But Narad Veda uh, he is saying you know past, you know present, and then you know. Future. And then Suchishrava, your fame is spotless. Satya Rato, you are truthful, fixed in truth. 
Dhritam Pratha, you followed all regulated principles, injunctions very strictly. Then Urukramasya Akilabandha Muktai. Urukrama means Shri Krishna. So what did he tell him? Samadhi Nanusmara Tadvichaishtitam. You go into Samadhi and then you write about the Leelas of Urukrama, Krishna, which will be the cause of uh, uh, free from bondage. Right? Is it clear? So, what is Srimad Bhagavatam? Bhagavatam language is Samadhi Bhasha. Vyasamuni right? went into Samadhi and wrote and then Sukadeva Goswami went into Samadhi and spoke. That is why you will not find um, whether it is, whether it is Mahabharata, Padma Purana, or Vishnu Purana and then you read Srimad Bhagavatam. Language is completely different. It is a special, very sweet language, Bhagavatam. It's a poem, poetry, right? So it is uh, Bhagavatam. Uh, you know that is why Amalam Puranam, spotless Puranam, because uh, so it came from two great personalities. One is Vyasadev, another is uh, Sukadeva Goswami. This is spotless Puran. So it has no touch of modes of nature in Bhagavatam. So anybody who studies Bhagavatam on a regular basis, he will also become free from modes of Where it is written? Where it is written? First canto, second chapter. There are five verses. Shrinatam Swakata Krishna, Sunya Shravani Kirtanaha, Pridhyantastho Yabhadrani, Vidunoti, Sunusatam, huh? Nasta Praya Shabhadreshu, Vritya Bhagavat Sevaya, Bhagavati Uttama Shloke, Bhakti Bhavati, Naishtiki, Tadarajas Tamubhava, Kamalobhada Yashche, Cheta Yete Ranamitan, Stitam Satve, Prasidati. You keep on reading Bhagavatam, you keep on reading Bhagavatam, you will become free from Rajas and Tamas. Right? Rajas and Tamas. So which are represented by Kama and Loba. After that, then you keep on reading Bhagavatam and hearing Bhagavatam. What will happen? You will come to mode of goodness. When you are in mode of goodness, you will become situated in happiness. Right? happiness. Then, Eva Prasanna Manasu. So, uh, Bhagavad Bhakti Yogataha, Bhagavad Tattva Vijnana, Mukta Sangasya, Jai. So, then you will become free from mode of goodness also. Keep on, only you don't have to do anything, you have to keep on reading, reading Bhagavatam. That's it. Then, first you will become free from Ajarajas, you will become free from Tamas, then you will become free from, uh, you will come to God of goodness, then from, uh, then you continue to read Bhagavatam, yeah, study Bhagavatam, then you become free from God of goodness also. Then what will happen? Vidyate, Hridayagrandi, Chidyante, Sarvashamshaya, Shriyante, Chasikarmani, Rishayavatmani Ishwari. You know, all the doubts will be, uh, the knot in the heart will be cut. Vidyate, Chidyate Sarasamshaya. All doubts are vanished. Then, Shriyante Chasi. Then you will stop doing karma. Right? Like, Nanavara asked Parjanya, what is the cause of fear? What is the cause of fear? Karma. <laughs> because you do karma, you get reaction. What reaction you are going to get, we don't know. Right? Kala, Kala delivers, you know, it's a very swiggy deliver, you know, like, what do you say? Swiggy, Jomato, they have a on time, right? So, Kala is a perfect uh, swiggy deliverer, you know, delivery boy. At exact time, you know, he delivers, whether it is happiness or distress. You can't say, I am very busy, go to distress, shampoo there. <laughs> right? No, Baba. <laughs> you have to. So, it's a very swift deliverer. Then suddenly, Kala, Kalka Prabhu se koi nahi bat sakta hai. Right? So why? Because, uh, you know, when the, when your fruit of karma, your karma, seed of karma gets fructified, Kala only knows. Everything going on nicely. Prabhu says, nobody is perpetually uh, in this world. You know, nobody is perpetually uh, fortunate. You know, goddess of fortune doesn't stay perpetually with some anybody like that. Right? Any moment. 
काला विंटर टेक अवे सो इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो कर्मा देन वी हैव टू स्टॉप डूइंग कर्मा देन ओनली वी बिकम फ्री फ्रॉम फियर देन वी हैव टू डू कृष्ण कर्मा राइट सो देन कृष्ण यू आर मनीष करे देन यू विल नो वॉट इज युअर पोजिशन वॉट इज द पोजिशन ऑफ कृष्ण Right? These are the signs of devotion service. Second chapter, tomorrow. First chapter, second chapter. We will study more. Huh? Second chapter, first chapter. Prabhat, yeah. First chapter, seventh chapter. Seventh chapter, first shloka. Prabhat quoted these verses. Right? Uh, so the so by by studying Bhagavatam, because Bhagavatam is Amal Puran, yeah, you will also become Amal. So, is it clear? Huh? Yes. So, please study Bhagavatam. Bhag Madhur Purnima is going on. If somebody doesn't have a set of Bhagavatam, please purchase one. We have. I think discount is also going on. <laughs> I know. If you want to give this Shrimad Bhagavatam, Madhur Purnima, I think tenth of. September. If you gift uh, Shrimad Bhagavatam to anybody on Bhadra Purnima day, you will directly go to Goloka. <laughs> Very easy. <laughs> huh? So if you want to sponsor, uh, you can <laughs> contact Shankar Prabhu. Okay. Any questions, comments? Prabhuji, uh, you mentioned about this Puranas. So you mentioned the reading uh, Puranas in mode of ignorance. Mm. One goes to hell. Hell. Uh, so Shiv Puran. So Lord Shiva is also uh, elevated Vaishnava. So reading about him, how does one go to hell? Because they are very foolish. They think that you know they they imitate Lord Shiva, and then they sm they start smoking ganja. They start you know taking all these uh, drugs. You know. Uh, dirty. They they try to they imitate Lord Shiva, right? So that is why uh, they go to hell. Huh? Rules and regulations for reading Bhagavad Gita. Uh, no rules. Just take a book and read. <laughs> the whole thing is while reading Bhagavad Gita. Make sure that the no that is the that is why by you know like for chanting Hare Krishna mantra offences are considered <coughs> for reading Bhagavatam no offences are considered only once you get a book of Bhagavatam written by Prabhupada so you must read uh, books written by Acharyas you know Manofed Acharya once you get a copy of reading you know that book of Manofed Acharya no rules and regulations you know uh, Prabhupada is still recommended start from first verse. And then read regular, on a systematic way. You know, don't jump to tenth canto and all that stuff. But still, you know, Prabhu said, uh, uh, Bhagavatam is like a gulab jam. Wherever you bite gulab jam, you it is sweet. <laughs> so you can read. But for a better understanding, uh, you read Bhagavatam uh, from first chapter onwards, you know, systematically. So we will teach. Um, we, I don't like to teach every verse like that because then it will take you know, time eternally. Then you go on. <laughs> so we will finish five six, uh, five six verses at one point of time. The first three two verses I will read, I will take two classes and then after that we will go past. You know, I will just explain. Uh, maybe we can have an exam also. Huh? <laughs> huh? We will have an exam also. Huh? Then you know, we can you know, take a bring a notebook and pen. You, know, you can make notes and all that. Huh? Fifteen years ago, we were doing that exam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. So I'll give you homework and all. You can, you can write essays and all. Huh? So that you are engaged. Yeah. Only proper to like to read and all, and then go. Not to jump to the ten canto questions. Questions are not to be asked for ten canto because they are past times. But still, during the Narada no one, Krishna book is given, which is ten canto itself for newcomers. So how to be concise? Prabhu, there is a purpose, you know. 
Um, there are many people who read Krishna book and become devotees. Right? So, soundless that way. Because Prabhupada wanted, he did not want people to jump to Rasa dance, Rasa Pancha, Rasa Pancha. Any other? What do you mean that the, the, the Srimad Bhagavatam was not spoken in every Kali? What does that mean? Mahabharata. Mahabharata. Because this Kali Yuga, Mahabharata is written by Vyasadev because he is incarnation of Vishnu. Only yeah. incarnation of Vishnu can write Mahabharata. So that is why this, this name is Krishna Dvayapayana Vara. Yes, hmm. For this Kali Yuga. Okay, uh, thank you very much uh, all the devotees. Uh, okay, you can't imagine that such a small group of devotees contributed one crore for Janamashtami. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right? If you don't believe, if you don't believe you are such a small group, how you are collecting so much money? But actually I am not collecting. Um, my secret of success is this only. Right? 40 pages Bhagavatam. <laughs> <laughs> Every day I read 40 pages Bhagavatam. And then uh, I was simply reading Bhagavatam, people are coming and giving donations. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Nobody believe, nobody believe. Uh, what have we done? I have done nothing special. <laughs> right? So, Prabhupada, somebody asked Prabhupada that uh, I want to distribute more and more books. Prabhupada, what, what is your uh, suggestion? Prabhupada said, take this bead. Start chanting, tell Sri Krishna Sudhana Prabhu Nityananda, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, 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 Hare Hare. Keep the mala after chanting 16 months. Whatever you do, you will be successful. <laughs> so I do that. Every day I chant all my rounds at one go. I don't get up, I don't walk. walk exercise come, chanting, I don't do. Right? All of you also, my advice is chant, sit and chant. Exercise, you can do it in the evening, you can do it in the evening, you can do it in the evening. If you don't have to do it in the evening, you can do it in the evening. Your Guru is praying too much, he said. You should do walking and all, that's how Prabhupada started walking. So, my advice is don't walk and chant. Walking business, uh, exercise come, uh, chanting. Right? Sit and chant. So if you are feeling sleepy, you... So in order to avoid sleeping, you read Bhagavad. How to, you know, like, by chanting you get a lot of sleep. So I was you know, struggling with this for so many years. Then when I started reading Bhagavatam, in two and a half years, that sleep is gone. So Bhagavatam, because chanting, you know, offense is involved. But if you read Bhagavatam, there is no offense in what? Just read. Then it is very effective, purificatory. See, it purifies your heart very fast. Then read Bhagavatam. And if you want to sleep, I may read the technical book. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, like that. So, I am very thankful all to all of you for generously contributing. <laughs> right? As usual. Every year now, our Srinath uh, Krishna Prabhu, Sushil Jaswani, <laughs> is the highest uh, this year, I think. <laughs> he has become, uh, uh, what do you call, Mahamana. Mahamana means, you know, uh, great-hearted, you know, big-hearted. <laughs> Giving money, <laughs> and he's learning, and every day he gives something. <laughs> so, and all of you, you know, Rajesh Agarwal, Vishal, Vishal Agarwal, then Omkar, Mataji, Alka Mataji, she gave, first time she came and she gave two colors. This how? <laughs> uh, all, you know, what all? You know, everybody here, everybody is a donor here. <laughs> so I am very thankful. Uh, like Alka Mataji, Alka Gupta Mataji, she gave two colors this time. And then she is sponsoring Ram Nami dress. Vishal oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Agarwal. Pooja Agarwal, they sponsored Radha Stumi dress. <laughs>